Now, on October the 20th, the pinnacle of boxing in the world will be coming to Singapore. And our very own world champ, Muhammad the Chosen One, Red One, is going to headline the Raw of Singapore 3 as he fights for the IBO Super Featherweight title. Now, a lot is known about our fighter and our champ, Red One, but do you know that his favorite food is actually Prata? And champ, let's go get some Prata. He rocked the world of boxing last May when he went on to become Singapore's very first boxing world champion. His proud record stands at 8 wins, no losses, with 7 victories coming via knockout. He's the owner of his very own gym, aptly named Legends, but despite the success that has seen him grace magazine covers and newspapers, Muhammad the Chosen One Red One is as Singaporean as it comes with his taste in food as we found out about the boxer's love affair with the humble Roti Prata. Prata uh, is satisfying. Uh, I love the, the mix with the curry and the sambal. If, if I have both of it, it's amazing. You know, if, if I just have the curry, it's fine. Uh, I know I just love it. I can have it every day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, no problem. As the accolades pour on and his success puts Singapore boxing at the pinnacle of local sports in the Lion City, the 29-year-old is actually a shadow of his aggressive and determined nature when he steps out of the squared circle. Soft-spoken and polite in his manners, Ridwan has been bobbing and weaving past the perils of fame thanks to a mother who ensures his feet are planted as her son punches his way onto the world stage. Uh, I mean, I have a special place for her in my heart. But she's a she's a special woman. She supports me all the way. She's a mom. She's a father. She's she's everything. So she means a lot to me and the rest of my family members. And the fact that my mom uh, still sees me as a as a, like a 18 year old boy, a 16 year old boy, always up to mischief. She's always asking me to do the same thing: wash the dishes, uh, fold your clothes. Uh, so these are the kind. These are the little little things that make me that reminds me that you know I'm still the same person to her. And it is the Chosen One's upbringing that has seen him use his newfound fame into good use. During the month of Ramadan, the Ishu native started a charity food drive for the Darul Iksan orphanage. It was an act of kindness that goes hand in hand with boxing promotion Ringstar's principles as both boxer and promoter try to give back to the community. Some would call it corporate responsibility, but Ringstar Scott Farrell believes it is a move to inspire the next generation of Lion City Chargers. Members of my team and one in particular, Felice Chua, <coughs> decided to uh, say let's do some uh, corporate responsibility <coughs> and help out with um, schools and orphanages and get in touch with Ridwan so he helps out you know an orphanage here and it's great and I thought well, that's, that's perfect you know so we had 300 or so tickets made <coughs> excuse me uh, all free to bring these guys there and we'll even put on the transport we'll, uh, we'll pay for the bus to bring them there this is about getting people to see what we're about and more important see what Ridwan's got to offer and what how much an inspiration can you imagine him walking into that ring walking out with that belt victorious in front of all those kids. You could be creating the next super world champion just by that one moment of inspiration that um, Ridwan has given him. So, you know what? That's great. Staying true to himself, the fire in Ridwan's eyes returned as soon as his opponent for the IBO Intercontinental Super Featherweight title fight at the Raw of Singapore 3 was mentioned. South African boxer Kos Sabia believes our local hero is easy meat come the 20th of October. The chosen one had some choice words as he prepares to vacate both his titles to turn his attention in hunting down the last great warrior. One thing I will say, he needs to change his fight name from the last great warrior to the last great fight. So that's the last thing that's going to have on 20th of October. If he wants to knock me out, he can come and have some. Um, he will realize on 20th of October the power of my punches. I don't, I don't talk so much, but when somebody confronts me like that, I'm gonna rise up. I'm gonna rise up. I'm not, I'm not, just, I'm not just gonna sit down, be humble, and all that. This is entertainment business, but the fighting is real. Once he feels the power of the punches, he will realize he's in the, he's in the wrong fight. No heartbreak for, uh, for vacating them because. You know, I mean, the belts are beautiful, but I think the journey that leads up to the fights, I think that's more, that's priceless. It's something that no money can buy. It's never just about me, it's always about 
us. So when I step into the ring on 20th of October, it's going to be for Singapore, for sure. Now, I'm going to throw it down to you. What is your prediction for your IBO title fight? Knockout, less than eight rounds, body shot. <laughs> <laughs>